Welcome to Street Lib Learn, our video series designed to help you explore and make the most of the tools and services on the Street Lib platform. Today, I'll show you how to create your next ebook directly from our platform, either from the left menu or the right menu, by clicking on Go to the Service. Once you click, a new page will open automatically, where you can select New Ebook and choose whether or not to assign an ISBN. We assign it for free within 12 hours. Next, you'll need to fill in all the details, your metadata, including the title, subtitle, imprint, which is your publisher name, description, and up to seven relevant keywords, as required by Amazon. Ensure your keywords are consistent with your book. Then, move on to the metadata for the edition, such as the year of publication and edition type, like special characters or ultra-readability. Fields without an asterisk are optional, so you can skip them if needed. You can select the language from the drop-down menu or type it in manually. Be sure to choose the correct field for public domain status and enter the author's name. Defining your target audience is also crucial, as it determines the appropriate reading age range. You can select this from a drop-down menu with general categories. Another key aspect is adult content. We have FAQs that cover this in detail. For example, pornographic content is not accepted. Once this information is entered, you can assign your ebook to a specific collection, if applicable, and confirm the author's name. When typing the author's name, our system will automatically suggest a name and last name combination, allowing you to select the correct match. The same applies to contributors and categories, which should always align with your book's title, synopsis, and EPUB file. Finally, you can add related products, such as the print version of your book, before clicking Save. Now it's time to upload your files. Cover files must be in JPG format, while ebook files must be in EPUB format. You may also upload an optional preview. Click on Assets, then Add Cover to upload your cover image and EPUB file. Our hub system features an integrated EPUB check validator which will verify your file's validity within minutes. If your file is not valid, you can use StreetLibWrite to fix it. As mentioned, adding a preview is optional, as most stores generate one automatically. Last but not least, let's go over the Distribution tab. Here, you can specify the sale date, especially useful for pre-orders. Set your price and select the stores where you want to publish your book. Keep in mind that not all stores are automatically selected, and you can exclude certain stores if you prefer to publish there independently. Finally, choose whether to apply protection to your ebook if desired and click Update. Voila! You're all set. At the top of the page, you'll also find additional icons. A list of store links where your title has already been published. A list of store anomaly feedback. A list of any accessibility errors. The arrow icon provides access to product insights, showing your book's sales performance. At this stage, these fields will be empty since the book hasn't been published yet. Keep in mind that publication typically occurs 24 to 48 hours after the ISBN is assigned. Of course, you can track all this directly from your dashboard analytics section, filtering by ISBN, title, or time period. But that's a topic for another tutorial, so don't miss it. If you have any questions or need support, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching and happy publishing.